Who is Wesley So, beyond a man with 75,000 Facebook followers? Well, he had a remarkable journey from learning the game in an impoverished neighborhood in the Philippines to reaching the world's top 10. And David C2 has actually written a pretty wonderful article about this, so I'll link in the description below. But here's a brief excerpt. After learning chess on the streets of Cavite, a province just outside of Manila, the talented So became a grandmaster at the age of just 14. But then he entered a turbulent teenage period when he separated from his biological family and lived on his own, squatting in a small apartment in the capital. After, his, after finding his way to the United States on a chess scholarship, So was on the verge of ditching his ambitions to become a full-time professional player before being persuaded to give his dream a go by the American couple Lotus Key and Bambi Kabinting, who later adopted him. In 2017, So became the world number two and achieved a FIDE rating of 28-22, making him the fifth highest rated player in history. After watching his compatriot Fabiano Caruana challenge Magnus Carlsen for the world title last year, So is determined to secure his own shot at the championship. And actually, since then, uh, so this article was written back in 2019, I believe. You know, since then, a few years have happened. Um, he just competed in the U.S. Chess Championship of 2022 back in September. And he actually got sixth place. And he says during his interview after winning the Global Chess Championship that he was kind of taking things easy and he was just, you know, watching TV. But losing that, getting sixth place, you know, when he had won even the previous year and losing the Fisher Random Championship, which happened uh, right before this Chess.com Global Chess Championship, which he also lost pretty poorly at. You know, he had been the reigning champion. He's won the Fisher Random Tournament more times than anybody else in history. So losing those two things in a row, it really motivated him to try and do well in the in Chess.com's Global Championship, and, and it worked. He did do well. Um, again, apologies for the no face as uh, I... This is a new channel. I've not yet learned how to record my face while while I uh, read these articles. But um, all right. So another important thing about him, he's an evangelical Christian. Uh, maybe important to you, maybe not. And he reads the Bible every night. So let's go to his bio and read what else we have to hear about him. He was born in the Philippines October 9th, 1993. That makes him 29 years old. And he was awarded his first GM norm at the Alfine International Bayerschach Meisterschaft in Bad Weissy, Germany. I, I took a year of German in middle school. Sorry about the pronunciation. Um, he acquired his second GM norm in 2007. Blabby, blabby, blabby. Uh, in 2009 on his FIDE uh, rating list, Wesley So was rated as the world's strongest chess player for his, for his age level. Born in 1993 and later. All right, so his bio is not having that much on it, so I think the best to do now is go to his Wikipedia page, which has some of the best information. Um, so, yes, it says right here, he's the inaugural longest reigning former World Fisher Random Chess Champion and three-time U.S. Chess Champion 2017, 2020, and 2021. All right, he blah, 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 blah. He's a former chess prodigy, became the youngest player to pass the 2600 ELO rating in October 2008 breaking the previous record by Magnus Carlsen. So, you know, if you can beat, if you can beat Magnus Carlsen's record, and Ra Magnus Carlsen did not like start late at life. He got a pretty early introduction to chess. Um, his record has since been broken by John M. Burke. Uh, in early 2013, so past 2700 in January, 27, in January 2017, and became the 11th player to pass 2800 ever. So that's pretty good. Um, he transferred to the United States in 2014. Blabby, 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 blabby. Okay. As a younger player, So's aggressive and tactical style of play caught the attention of a former Philippine chess champion, international master. Uh, the young lad would sacrifice the queen for eh, or any other pieces in his arsenal to get a winning attack. He cannot afford decent training given by well-known GM coaches and has to rely on pure talent before competing. So commented before an interview. So far I play aggressively. I would like to play a solid game with a solid opening. This is what I think. I think my style is close to Vichy Anand. Of course we have different levels. 
Um, actually, in his global chess championship, the one thing that became clear as he faced uh, Nihal Saren is that he, um, you know, Nihal Saren is uh, 10 years younger than him. He's only, I believe, 19 instead of 29 or 18 years of age. So he's he's 18. So, you know, Nihal is really good in his calculation ability. And so is so. So they were really good competitors for the more rapid tournament format. But uh, obviously, so has been studying chess for an additional 11 years. And basically every single game in the opening, uh, Nihal was at a disadvantage because he just didn't have all the moves memorized to the extent Wesley did.